Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Josh Byerly. 2013 is coming to quite a busy close. The crew is working to perform a set of spacewalks to correct the coolant loop problem that was seen several days ago. This system helps cool down the electronics both inside and outside the station. The spacewalkers will swap a faulty ammonia pump with one of the three spares that are outside. Rick Mastracchio has done six spacewalks before, and this is Mike Hopkins' first. Because of the spacewalks, Orbital Sciences' Cygnus will now launch in early January. For the latest on the progress of the spacewalks themselves and the updated launch schedule, check out nasa.gov station. And Station Science middle schoolers are getting the chance to fly some robots inside the station. It's all part of the SPHERES Zero Robotics Challenge. SPHERES is a set of bowling ball sized satellites. They're programmed by the students to fly themselves like droids out of a certain sci-fi movie you may have seen. For more information about SPHERES, visit the Space Station webpage, click on Research and Technology, and then Experiment. The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer has crossed a milestone. It has now collected more than 42 billion particles. That's billion with a B. AMS has the small task of helping figure out the origins of the universe. It searches the skies for antimatter, dark matter, and cosmic rays. AMS launched on board the space shuttle back in May of 2011 and is currently attached to the outside of the space station. To learn more, visit ams.nasa.gov. Some fourth and fifth graders from the Bronx tweeted us this question. How do the astronauts warm up their food on the ISS? Well, there's no shortage of tasty food on board. And when it's time to heat something up, the astronauts either add hot water to food that's been dehydrated, or there's a small oven that looks a little bit like a suitcase. Now here's a piece of trivia. They don't get to eat bread on board because the crumbs would go everywhere. So they have tortillas instead. And they don't get to drink sodas either. The bubbles don't separate out like they do here on Earth, so they just stick with water, tea, orange juice, and other drinks. If you have a question or comment you want to send to us, use the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.